In this tutorial, I'll show you not only how you can create any size document you want in Adobe InDesign, but also how you can change the size of your document even after you started it. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes sir! Head over to graphicskill.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. Hello Creative! It's your Graphics Girl of GraphicsGirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. If you've ever found yourself in a situation where you had to change the size of a file after you've begun the project, then you're not alone. So first, I'll show you how you can create a brand new file in InDesign and make it the exact size you want it to be. So to do that, you come to File, New, Document, or Command or Control, N. So it's right here where you can change the actual dimensions of the file that you'd like to create. Here, if I were to create an 8.5 by 11 letter size file, I could choose Default. And now you can see over here in the right hand corner that it is in fact eight and a half by 11. That is to say eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Down here, you can see the orientation, whether something's in portrait or landscape. Here, I don't need facing pages turned on. So I'm gonna turn that off because I'm not making a magazine or something that would have spreads. So with that, for right now, I can just hit Create. And voila, I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. But what if you already have a file you've opened up and you're not sure of its dimensions? So to find the dimensions of any file, you come to File, Document Setup. In the Document Setup dialog box, it shows you its dimensions. What if you're already working in a file and you wanna change its dimensions? Here is how you do that. Once again, you can come to File, Document Setup, and here from the Page Size dropdown, I could choose a preset such as half letter size, wherein the width could be 5.5 and the height would be 8.5. So I can come over here to change the orientation so that my width stays the same, but the height changes to be 8.5 by 5.5, or half of 11. Now when I click OK, voila, the page is now cut in half. So you don't have to use a preset from the drop-down, but it does have many presets already built in for you, such as business cards. And that's how you can change the size of your documents in Adobe InDesign. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Nice. Share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.